tonight i want to you know show us how david maneuvered the twists and the turns of his life some things that we can learn from first samuel chapter 13 because that you have a dream does not mean that the devil would leave you that you have received the word from god is even is an assurance that the devil will come for you because the devil always comes where the word of god has come so when jesus was born the word came to mary he said and mary accepted the word and he said and the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us and tabernacled amongst us and then there was persecution king herod started killing newborns they fled to egypt the world so the devil would always come to swallow the world the same way moses was born as a deliverer of israel and it was at that moment that pharaoh decided the israelites were, were multiplying and started killing newborn because the devil was interested in the man moses so it was not just a coincidence it was a, an orchestration of hell so that you have the word of god is a guarantee that the devil would come for you it therefore means that you must be on your guard um, if you must see the actualization of the word of god in verse 4 it says then david and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep so as men we must come to the point where we understand our frailty we must come to the point where we we lose sight of our strength for god to help a man you must come to the end of yourself you must come to that point where you are like god i cannot handle this on my own that's when you are invite you are inviting the 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 hand of god into your life that's when you are inviting the mercy of god into your life so any man that is still you know that still has strength in himself cannot receive the help of god you know the 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 random saying you know say heaven helps those that help themselves i don't believe in it because if you can help yourself the heavens will not help you it takes a man that knows ah i cannot do this on my own little one that the scripture will say in first um, chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 he say if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray will come to the realization that i cannot do this on my own and submit themselves to me he said i will hear from heaven isaiah chapter 41 verse 14 he says thou warm jacob i will help you you men of israel when you come to the point of realization that you don't have a backbone a worm is, is a being is it a being now that does not have a backbone so it's, it is weak so god was calling the people of jacob he said thou warm jacob he was putting it to them that you must come to the point that you realize that i cannot help myself that is when you receive my help as long as you have strength in your ability as long as you have strength in your skill as long as your hope is in your capacity god will be far so the songwriter will say take over jehovah i have come to the end of myself so until you come to the end of your ability where you know that god in this matter is either you help or no one else you cannot assess the help of god so he says that david and his men lifted up their voice so it's okay to weep it's okay to cry it's okay to understand your human nature that ah as a human being this issue is not for me these circumstances these twists and turns of my life i cannot help myself because as long as you think you can help yourself you will not seek god verse 6 he said and david was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people were grieved every man for his sons and for his daughter what would david start telling these people how would he start comforting them David lost hope in his ability. How would you start handling the circumstances in your family? How would you start handling the circumstances in your life? So tonight is a time to lose hope in your own ability. He says, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. He says, but David encouraged himself in the Lord is God. So when you are faced with circumstances, 
when you are faced with um with um contrary winds of life you must learn to encourage yourself in the lord ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 be strong in the lord and in the power of his mind that was what paul first of all presented to them before he told them that you are in the warfare he said for you wrestle not against flesh and blood and all of that but first of all he told them be strong in the lord it means that to engage in the battles of life you must find the navigating system to be on, on, on how to be strong in the lord you must know how to navigate the systems of God to, to that place where you are strengthened in the Lord. He said, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. Because without strength, you cannot pursue. Without strength, you cannot overtake. Without strength, you cannot recover. He says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. So when circumstances begin to come that contradict the words that God has given you, encourage yourself in the Lord begin to recall these are the ways to encourage yourself begin to recall the promises the reason one of the reasons that abraham did not lose hope in the promise was because god was constantly showing him the promise so god would come and tell him abraham come out of your house look into the sky you see as the stars are in heaven so shall your seed be so whenever Abraham came out and, and whenever he saw the stars, he would remember the promise. That means that he constantly, God put his word right before him. Constantly. Because if Abra Abraham did not have the word, recovering in his spirit, he would faint, he would lose hope. But the scripture was saying in Romans chapter 4, it says, Who contrary to hope, believed in hope, yet he hoped that he would become a father of many nations. He received the promise he received the promise so when the, the challenges of life come to contradict the world you don't look at the circumstance you put your eyes on the promise on the word that God has given you and judge God faithful and judge him faithful he says Sarah received strength to conceive because she judged him faithful she judged him faithful keep the promise in your face